Hello everyone and welcome to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. We're glad you're tuned in. We want to give a shout out to our friends at Southern Oregon PBS, KTVL, KDRV, and the Dove Network. Thank you for hosting us on your station. In the Medford School District, we have one shared vision and that we believe that all are learning and learning is for all. And what better place to do that than right here on Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Hi. My name is Jennifer Joy, and I'm a local educator and entertainer. You may have seen me around as Genuine the Unicorn. Today, I'm here to teach you an African-themed music class. This is for third through fifth grade in the elementary level, but any age can join in and participate and have fun. Today, we're going to be learning three songs, and two of them are going to be in different languages. Before we begin, allow me to tell you Jumbo Shamwari. Jambo means hello in Swahili, and Shamwari means friend in Shona. Hello, friend. Shamwari. That's friend. Okay, let's begin with the first song, Mud, Mud, Glorious Mud. This is a song about an animal that likes the mud and lives in Africa. Hmm, what kind of animal might that be? Maybe an elephant? Maybe a hippo? maybe something else. This is how we're going to move forward. I'm going to demonstrate the song for you and then I will teach it to you using call and response and then after that we're going to sing it all together. Okay, here's Mud, Mud, Glorious Mud. Mud, mud, glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling your blood. Follow me, follow into the hollow where we will wallow in glorious mud. It's a short, fun song. Let's learn it together. Mud, mud, glorious mud. Mud, mud, glorious mud. Nothing quite like it for cooling your blood. Nothing quite like it for cooling your blood. Follow me, follow. Follow me, follow. Into the hollow. Into the hollow. Where we will wallow. Where we will wallow in glorious mud. Inglorious mud. You did a great job. Let's sing it together in the entirety. A one, a two, a here we go. Mud, mud, glorious mud. Nothing quite like it for cooling your blood. Follow me, follow into the hollow where we will wallow in glorious mud. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. Let's move on to our next song, Sansa Chroma. Sansa Chroma is a song from Zimbabwe. It is a Shona proverb about a chick and its mother. The story goes that the chick should stay with the mother wherever the mother goes because if the chick doesn't, then it can be eaten by a hawk. Yes. Okay. So I will demonstrate the song and then I'll teach it to you. This song uses movement. Here we go. Sansa chroma ni ne wo akeche kokoma. Sansa chroma ni ne wo akeche kokoma. Let's learn the dance first. The feet go step together, step together, step together, step together. Now that we got the easy part, let's join the hands. The hands go like this. Clap, boom. Clap, snap. Clap, boom. Clap, snap. Clap, boom. Clap, snap. Make sure that you're getting the boom sound on your chest. Here we go. Clap, boom. Clap, snap. Clap, boom. Clap, snap. Good. Now let's add the feet. Clap, boom. Clap, snap. Clap, boom. Clap, snap. Rock out for a little bit. Get that used to your body. Clap, boom, clap, snap, clap, boom, clap, snap. Very good. Now let's learn the words. Sansa chroma. Sansa chroma. Nine wo. Nine wo. Nine wo akeche. Nine wo akeche. Ni ne wo a keche koko ma. Ni ne wo a keche koko ma. Good job. Sansa, chroma, 
ni ne wo akeche koko ma. Good. Whew. One more part to learn. Let's get the tune in there. Follow me. Sansa chroma. Sansa chroma. Good. Ni ne wo. Ni ne wo. Akeche koko ma. Akeche koko ma. Good. Second part's the same, except for it ends a little bit lower. Sansa chroma. Sansa chroma. Ni ne wo akeche koko ma. Ni ne wo akeche koko ma. I'm going to sing it once slowly so you can join me. Actually, I'll do it twice slowly so you can join me. Here we go. Sansa chroma ni ne wo akeche koko ma. Sansa chroma ni ne wo akeche koko ma. Let's try it with the movement. Really slow, okay? Sansa chroma ni ne wo akeche koko ma. Sansa chroma ni ne wo akeche koko ma. Good. It's fun to learn it slow, but it's more fun to sing it at speed. Let's see if we can do it. It'll be like dun 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 one a dun 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 one a two. Here we go. Sansa chroma ni ne wo akeche koko ma. 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 Good. That's the first part. The third part, that I'm going to skip the second part for a reason. We're going to the third part, which is the male's part. So the men, they go like this with their arms, and they kind of pump their chest a little bit. Yeah. And then their part is, whoa, 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 okay, che coco ma. And you've got to be as low as you can go in your voice. That's pretty much as low as I can go. How low can you go? uh uh yeah, good. Okay, so the men are pumping out like this because they've got these swords and they're kind of preparing for battle even though this song is about a chick that's trying to not get eaten by the hawk. Yes, it's true. So let's try that part. A one, two, here we go. Whoa, 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 okay, che coco ma. Good. That's very great. So if you have a friend with you, one friend can sing one part while the other friend sings the other part, and then you can go back and forth because, of course, this is a song that comes from a village. And in a village, everyone sings together, and everyone sings different parts that come together to form a whole. Isn't that lovely? Okay, let's sing Sansa Chroma together one more time. A one, a two, the first part, here we go. Sansa Chroma, ni ne wo, a keche koko ma. Sansa Chroma, ni ne wo, a keche koko ma. Sansa Chroma, ni ne wo, a keche koko ma. Sansa Chroma, ni ne wo, a keche koko ma. Good job, everybody. This third song is from the country Ghana in the continent Africa. This song is about a young boy that sells rice cakes at the market. It's called Tue Tue. It's got a simple dance and a simple song. Let's learn the words first. Tue Tue, Barima Tue Tue. Pretty easy, right? I bet you can say the first part, Tue Tue. The middle word is Barima. Ba rima. If you can turn your tongue, you can make the hr sound. Ba rima. There we go. Two way, two way. Ba rima, two way, two way. Two way, two way. Ba rima, two way, two way. New word. Ambasa. Ambasa dao. Ambasa dao. Ama dawa dawa. Ambasa dao. Ama dawa dawa. Two way, two way, ambasa dao, ama dawa dawa, two way, two way, barima, two way, two way. So that's a demonstration of the movements and the words that we'll be using in this song. Okay, let's learn the words again. Two way, two way, two way, two way, barima, two way, two way, barima, two way, two way, 
That repeats. Two-way, two-way, body ma two-way, two-way. Two-way, two-way, body ma two-way, two-way. Second part. Ambasa dao, ama dawa dawa. Ambasa dao, ama dawa dawa. Two-way, 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 two-way. Ambasa dao, ama dawa dawa. Ambasa dao, ama dawa dawa. Two-way, two-way, barima, two-way, two-way. Two-way, two-way, barima, two-way, two-way. All right, good learning. Let's do the song. This one's really fun. It comes from an album called Genuine and the Rainbow Band. And the song is called Two-Way, Two-Way. Here we go. Here we go. Two-way, two-way, barima, two-way, two-way. Good job. Free dance. Again. Here we go. Two way, two way, barima, two way, two way. Two way, two way, barima, two way, two way. Ambassador, I'm a dawa, dawa, two way, two way. Next, we're going to sing it in English, saying rice cakes. Rice cakes, 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 rice
No, no, Connor, it's your favorite creature that lives in the ocean and it has eight tentacles. Parachute. No, Connor, that is not what is in the box. Okay, Connor, it's your favorite creature that lives in the ocean that has eight tentacles and it's kind of squishy. Is it a computer? No, Connor. It's your favorite creature that lives in the ocean that has eight tentacles and it's really, really, really good at escaping out of things. I think I know this one. Is it an octopus? You should open the bo box and see. Here we go. <laughs> It is indeed an octopus. You are adorable and I shall name you Humphrey. But there appears to be something else inside of this book. I sent box. you something else too. Check out what's inside the box, Connor. There is a book that happens to be about octopuses. I'm excited. I think I should read this book. You should totally read this book. I think our friends at home would love to hear this story today. Sounds like a great idea. Here we go. Scooch all this out of the way. All right, guys, I am super excited to read this book. It is called Octopuses 1 to 10 by Ellen Jackson and Robin Page. Here we go. Octopuses like to hide. One is safe and snug inside. Octopuses on patrol use two legs to take a stroll. Here's an octa oddity. Count each heart. There's one, two, three. Did you guys know that? That octopuses have three hearts? How many hearts do we have? One, that's right. Octopuses in disguise have four ways to fool your eyes. One, when threatened, they can squirt a cloud of black ink, which confuses the predator, while the octopus jets away in the opposite direction. Sounds kind of gross. Uh, two, if they're discovered by a predator, they can change their colors and the texture of their skin to blend in with a rock. Some can even make themselves look like a crab, a seashell, or a flat fish. fish. Well, the third thing that they could do is an octopus can, can detach one of its arms. The arm wriggles off, sending the predator chasing after it. Ooh, I don't think we can do that. And four, the octopus can simply disappear in its den until the danger passes. I'd probably do that one. Short and happy, that's their lot. Five years is the most they got. Six strong arms can help them grab shrimp and lobster and fish and crab. Hmm. They can wander where they please, swimming through the seven seas. Celebrate and give a cheer on October 8th each year. That's National Octopus Day, one of my favorite holidays. Octopus is there so fine. You have one brain, they have nine. Pretty impressive, huh? Each of their tentacles can act independently. Pretty crazy. Here are 10 that you might meet, all with arms and none with feet. This one's the most popular and probably my favorite, the giant Pacific octopus. It gets to be huge. It gets to be bigger than me, bigger than Miss Britt, bigger than most people. This is the seven-armed octopus. Hmm, it's kind of cute looking. Here is the blanket octopus. It doesn't even look like it has tentacles. The common octopus here is pretty small. And the mimic octopus, this one's really interesting. It's called the mimic octopus because it can change what it looks like to mimic different animals. It can look like a jellyfish or a lionfish or a stingray. Very interesting. And this one's probably the cutest. This one's called the Dumbo octopus. 
It's very tiny, about the size of your hand. Very cute. The blue ringed octopus is up next. That's this one. Do you know what those bright colors try to tell other people? That it is poisonous. So you definitely don't want to go petting this octopus here. Next is the larger Pacific striped octopus here. And this one's about the size of your hand as well. The veined octopus is very, very smart. It can actually use coconut shells and defend itself. And once again, it's very tiny. And then comes the tiniest of all the octopuses. I don't know if you can see this one. This one is called the wolfy octopus. It is super tiny, about that big. Which one's your favorite? I like that one. My favorite has to be the giant Pacific octopus. Well, thank you, Miss Britt, for sending me that book. That was incredibly exciting. In fact, it was so exciting that I have actually written a song about octopuses. Would you guys like to hear it? Awesome. Let me get to it. This is a song about an octopus called Oliver the Octopus. Here we go. He can write a book with one hand, mix and two with another. Catch a fish and do the dishes, phone up his brother. Make a list of all of his favorite places and brush his beak. Favorite beat pace. All of this, all of this, with the most loving eyes. All of this, all of this, yeah, the same size. Oliver the octopus has eight arms to hold you with, brain the fangs, three hearts full of. Understand your trepidation, but for your information, he's my favorite cephalopod. He's color change coordinated, no need for vertebrae, got tentacles that go on and 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 on. All of this, all of this, with the most loving eyes, all of this, all of this. robust attempt at every single thing he's ever tried. Despite the fact he has no back or toes or nose or itch to scratch, he smiles in a way I can't describe. All of this, all of this, with the most loving eyes. All of this, all of this, at the same Thanks, guys. We get to read one of my very favorite books today. And it makes sense to read a book like this since I'm in the ocean. And this book is full of creatures that live in the ocean. It's called The Pout Pout Fish. And you might have read this book at home before. So if you know any of the parts, you can read them with me, especially the blub, blub blub. That's a really, really easy part that you can do with me. So help me out because I love when Pout Pout Fish goes blub, blub, blub. The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason and the pictures are by Dan Hanna. 
Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Can you make a face like that? I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dweary wearies all over the place. This is the part I need your help with. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Mrs. Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dweary wearies all over the place. Here we go. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Make that really big pout pout fish face again. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squitchy sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is simply impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope a mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend. Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look, you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hokey bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue, and then he blinks, and he speaks at last. My friends, said Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. Thanks guys for reading that with me today. It's one of my very favorites and I hope you liked it at home too. Wow, that was a lot of fun, Miss Britt. And you know what I can't believe? What? That we're not wet. Spending this entire time underwater has been incredible, and we are not a drop wet. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. See ya. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for being in the ocean with us today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Medford School District is a place where all are learning, and learning is for all.